I'm going to show you how to reinstall NVIDIA Graphics Driver on your desktop. So you're probably watching this video if you've tried to right click on your desktop and there's no NVIDIA control panel. Usually you right click on your desktop, click NVIDIA control panel and it brings up this box. It gives you options to change resolutions, refresh rates and tweak your applications generally to the way you want them. Now unfortunately I didn't have this box come up when I recently installed a motherboard. So the first thing you want to do is go to the device manager. Go to display adapters, NVIDIA graphics driver, whatever your graphics card is. And just double check that your machine is actually recognizing your graphics card. Rolling back any of your drivers or updating drivers or anything isn't going to help the NVIDIA graphics driver at all. In fact, um, this is more just a, an opportunity for you just to make sure that your graphics card is actually uh, correctly being registered by the device manager. So first thing you want to do is, is you want to navigate over to DDU. This is Display Driver Uninstaller. Click on the official download link. Save the file into wherever you want to save it. I've already actually downloaded and installed the software, but choose where you want to install the software and extract accordingly. Once it's all been downloaded and installed, find your installation folder. Open Display Driver Uninstaller. Now something to bear in mind is, is you need to run this in safe mode, but we'll get, that, get to that in a minute. This is just an opportunity for me to show you what it is and how it works. So, on the right hand side you'll select the type of device, which is your GPU. And then on the bottom you'll select the most applicable graphics drivers. NVIDIA is mine. Now it does say clean and do not restart. It's only possible to actually run this application in safe mode. But we'll get back to that in a moment. Just make sure this is installed because when you go to safe mode we'll need to have this application ready. To enter safe mode, click on the Windows option, right click on your power option, hold down shift and click restart. Shift, left click to restart, choose option troubleshooting, advanced options, Windows Startup and F4 to enable the safe mode. Please don't panic, it will resize the resolution of your screen. Then navigate your way over to Add or Remove Programs. Search for NVID. NVID. What will happen is it will bring up a selection of drivers that are available to you. What you'll notice is that the NVIDIA graphics driver will actually be installed. But for some reason you won't have your NVIDIA control panel. What you want to do is essentially just make sure that these drivers here are installed. In my case they're NVIDIA graphics drivers. The only one that you actually want to install in this list is the NVIDIA graphics driver. Once the NVIDIA graphics driver has been uninstalled Make sure that you haven't got the NVIDIA Physics X system software. The NVIDIA X system software, as you can see on the screen, is actually the software responsible for providing the NVIDIA control panel. The NVIDIA control panel relies on the NVIDIA Physics X system software to actually display itself on your desktop. The only one you want to uninstall here is the NVIDIA graphics driver. Just uninstall that. That's the only one you need to uninstall. Don't worry about anything else. If you've already got the Invisi physics system installed on your software, then this is probably not the right tutorial for you. Next step, open up the display driver uninstaller. Select your GPU. And then run a clean, but do not restart the machine. Obviously I can't do this for the tutorial, but you want to make sure you clean and do not restart. 
If you restart the machine at this point, it won't work. Wait for the log to load. You'll see there's a log below. Sometimes it can take a while depending on your machine's capabilities. This may take several minutes. Please be patient with it. Wait until it says it's all completed right at the bottom of the box. The next, and this is probably the most important step, is to ensure that you in remove the NVIDIA driver folder. Please bear in mind that this is not recommended and this is done at your own risk. However, to ensure that a full clean uninstall of the NVIDIA graphics driver is successful, you will need to remove the NVIDIA graphics driver folder. Otherwise, all that will happen is as NVIDIA drivers will reboot and reload into your system when you restart Windows. Now, rerun, but do not restart again. Just make sure that you run it this time, ensuring that that box to remove the folder for the drivers is ticked. Now once that's all done, you should be ready to go. Close everything down and just restart the machine like you would usually. Just simply restart the machine. You do not want to restart the machine into safe mode. We just want to restart the machine back into normal operating mode. Now once the machine has all been restarted and you're back to your home screen, go back to add or remove programs. Now you should notice that all of the programs here, all the NVIDIA programs, when you research NVID, should all be removed. If this has not been successful, then please repeat the process. If you're still having problems, then please leave a comment in the, in the comment section and I'll see if I can help. But they should all be removed at this point. Once that's all been done, you want to navigate your way over to the NVIDIA website. This is going to be an opportunity for you to download some new fresh drivers. Find the most applicable driver for your system. In my case, it's the GeForce GTX 1080. My operating system is Windows 10 and my language is English. Run the download. This may take several minutes depending on your internet speed. Please be patient with this download and ensure it's fully completed before proceeding. As you can see, my download is currently in progress. It is quite a large file. In this case, it's 544 megabytes. I don't need to pause the video because my internet is downloading it quite well. Find the file location and run the software. Now, I've already done that, so I don't necessarily need to do it again. But this is essentially going to be the NVIDIA utility that you will be using to reinstall all the drivers. As you can see, I've downloaded a couple of different ones. They're all essentially the same one. I was just too lazy to go into my downloads folder and actually find it, so I just re-downloaded it. There will be a few windows that will go through, but once that's all being done, You want to navigate back to your restart menu and restart your machine. Once you get back to your machine, right click on your desktop and voila, the control panel should be there. If you have any problems, please leave a comment in the section below. Please be advised, this video is not advice. This is not a recommendation. It is at your own risk. It's for Windows 10. 64-bit with NVIDIA graphics drivers. If you require any other further assistance regarding any other driver manufacturer, then please consult them directly. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and also share it with any friends or embed with any other websites that you feel benefit from the video. Thank you.